Hello everyone watching. In 2022, the age of electric and electric scooters. My favorite scooter till date is a Honda Dio from 2007. My opinion is one of the best India uh, scooters to come uh, to have come in the Indian market. The design is timeless. It's beautiful even today. The engine was very nice and fuel economy was great. But uh in 2022 after riding for more than 30 40000 kilometers on that scooter that legend needs rest and it's time for an upgrade so i am thinking we are thinking my family is thinking of buying an a new scooter but in 2022 it's really pointless to buy a petrol powered scooter because it is the age of electric and hence this the ather 450x Now this is not my scooter. I haven't bought it yet. This is my friend's. I have asked my friend to give it to me for a couple of days just to see how I like the scooter and how the scooter actually is. Bye bye. Because I might make a uh, I might make a purchase decision on how I like electric scooters. Now me personally, I just love how an internal combustion engine feels. It, there's just something about petrol power that just makes my heart go boom, and I have really no experience riding an electric scooter or driving an electric car whatsoever because I have not ridden or driven anything electric uh, so far. This is my first experience. This is my first. This is my introduction to electric vehicles. Now there are there are plenty of uh, scooters, electric scooters in the Indian market. We have the we have this ather we have the ola we have the bajaj chetak we have the uh, greve scooter we have uh, okay there are there are just a lot of scooters in the indian market right now but ather has proved itself to be one of the best very reliable very good in terms of quality the build and it's just a great overall package So, ha! Huh, I I'm a bit scared of riding the scooter because I don't know. It just feels a bit different to me. But I want to test it out and I want to see how good uh, it actually performs on our conditions, Indian roads, and our beautiful Goan rain, Goan weather, everything Goan. So for me, uh, I don't really have uh, major expectations from a scooter. I just needed to be fun. I needed to be uh, good in looking. Of course, everyone wants a good looking scooter, but I just want to see if the, this electric scooter makes my heart go boom just as uh, the petrol powered scooters do it. So for this, so to see if this scooter is for me, I just have a very, 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 very basic plan on how to test it and what to do with it. I need to take it to three places. One is my favorite place of all, our canal. Second is I want to ride it in the city, and third is I just want to see if it's fun, if it overtakes good, and how and is it a good uh, upgrade to a petrol in petrol scooter in 2022? Because see, electric scooters today are the first generation electric scooters, and petrol powered scooters today. are refined they have evolved over the years so petrol power is at its peak okay not maybe at its peak and this is in the initial stages so is it better to go for a petrol powered scooter or is it better to go with the future technology and buy an electric so that is what we are going to see today so now it's raining quite heavily and my phone is getting wet i have a couple of tests uh, tests that i want to do with this So I will go on, uh, go ahead with them, and let's see how practical or how good this ether is, and is it a good de uh, buying decision in 2022? Okay, so test number one: Will this ether climb this uh, somewhat uh, steep of an incline? Because see, petrol-powered scooters mostly are not the most powerful, but ether is one of the uh, one of the most powerful. scooters in the indian market electric scooters in the indian market today does it have the torque and does it have the pulling power to climb this incline with ease uh, let's find out 
Okay, so before starting the climb, I have the scooter in ride mode. It's got four modes, economy, ride, sport and warp. And ride is mode that most people will be riding this and I will be riding this for the most of the time. So let's see if it has enough power, enough torque to climb uh, this incline. Test number one, done. Effortlessly done. Effortless. Now on to test number two. Let's let's just take a while to appreciate how beautiful Goa is in during monsoons. Ah, look at the bloody fantastic view. Lovely, lovely, and the lovely ether. Okay, let let's take a quick look on how beautiful this ether is. This is a good paint scheme, but one one problem I have is not actually I don't know what to say of it. Plastic, 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 metal. Now in Goa we have salty air, so uh, metal, metal whatever panels they rust easily. Uh, but this is good quality plastic and. I don't really have anything to complain about. This is a good quality. This is a good build. So thumbs up to Ether for that. Okay. So now test number two. How fun is it to ride on full full blast? Let's put it in warp. This road here. This is a nice. No traffic. No potholes. A very good clean stretch of road. Let's see how fun it is on full blast. And range we have 82 percent charge and 42 kilometers of range. I don't really know what to exp what to think of this because I don't know if this is good or bad. No prior experience, see. Uh, but let's check it out. So before going ahead on the highway, let me give you a quick spec sheet about this scooter. It has two disc brakes, one in the front, one in the rear. It's got uh, mostly uh, fiber panels. It has a charging time of five and a half hours from zero to full. And it, ha it does support fast charging. Uh, it's got a fully digital instrument cluster and this screen, it's a seven inch touch screen. And the company claimed range of this uh, scooter is 116 kilometers, but I doubt it's going to go for 116. At the max, it's going to go 90 on a full charge, and with the warp mode on, uh, way lesser than that. The motor on this scooter is equivalent to a 150 cc uh, scooter, so you can compare it to the in, in terms of power, it can compare it to the Aprilia 150, SR 150, and everything. The entire package, it's IP67. Uh, protected. So dust and water, no, not a really uh, big problem. It's got even also a nice boot. It's got a 22 liter boot, which is enough to fit one small size helmet, charger, and something to carry around. So now let's go ahead on the highway and see uh, how it is. Pretty good, damn good. It's light, it's very, very nimble, and it's a great city bike, city scooter. I'm having fun, but there's one slight problem overtaking in ride mode. I, I'm scared. 
because it stops out at 60 and when I'm trying to overtake suddenly, it just doesn't have the power for a quick, meaning not just quick but overtakes it. I don't feel confident enough to overtake in ride mode. If it was in warp mode, overtake would have been a lot easier but warp mode compromises a lot on uh, the range. But when I started out, I was at 86% and I have been riding for just maybe 8 kilometers. Okay, not 8, I think I have been riding for maybe 15 kilometers. So 15 kilometers, it is down by 20% of charge, which is huge. Uh, so that, 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 uh, that I think one uh, is, that I think is one drawback. Of a first generation electric vehicle. Okay, hello everyone watching. Uh, so the bike is back uh, at the rightful owner's place, and uh, okay, now I have ridden the scooter for almost an entire day. I know how it feels. I know how it rides. I've I've tried to ride it in all modes and but before getting before having my feedback I would like to hear what Adhiraj has to say about the scooter Adhiraj has been riding the scooter when since he bought it of course and he has much more experience about the scooter than me and yes Adhiraj sir hmm. uh, sir sir you tell me uh, what's your feedback about the Aether 450X there will not be a lot of differences just a scooter but the way it rides is different because it's an electric one. So okay. the torque will be more. The power generated, the initial stages will be more. Hmm. The torque will be more. The power generated at the initial stages will be more. It will be much lighter and much more nimble to take your corners around. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's give a background. Adhiraj ha uh, has experience of riding a Activa. Activa. 125. Activa. One twenty five. Yeah. So compared to the Activa, okay. Adhiraj is it pow more powerful? Mm. Yes, because see, on the scooter will not go above hundred or above. Also, eighty, ninety in Goa or by my driving sense. I mostly drive between fifty to sixty kilometers, but the speed which I get on that speed is much more quicker in Aether rather than Activa. Okay. First point. Uh, I am not a big fan of a light scooter so I was not a big fan of the weight. High five, me too. So I require a bit a bulky scooter which I can handle around. So Activa had that in the Aether don't have it. So again it's a pro and cons are there. But it's a stylish bike, 100% people will look at uh, Aether rather than Activa. Okay. The sound is really catchy. Of course, it's the sound. Yes, it's something. <laughs> so it's a fun to uh, ride. It's a fun peppy scooter, of yeah. course. We can all agree on that. Adhiraj, okay. One, one question I had in mind when I was riding the scooter. Okay, so Aether 450X is the first generation electric scooter. Yeah. With and the Activa... With Ola and all the competitors, that yeah. is the first generation, yeah. correct? Yeah. And Activa has been refined over the years mm -hmm. and it's, I think, on on its sixth generation right now. Mm -hmm. So, if I am buying a new scooter, I am I am actually looking at buying a new scooter. Okay. So, what do you feel? Should I go for a refined petrol scooter or should I try an electric scooter so in 2022? We all know the way the uh, petrol prices are rising. Huh. So, it's on you the way you drive. Okay. So if you just want to go to the market or some place, then it's good. But it's not a daily worker scooter, I will say. Uh -huh. Range so, anxiety, right? Right. Range anxiety is one of the thing. And other okay. Would you recommend me to buy uh, the uh, Aether or any electric scooter? But or no, should I go? Me, so me I, specifically. So I don't know how much you ride a bike. So I told you an example. If you go every day to the market also from my uh -huh. house, which is around say, uh, 10 to 15 uh, minutes, I don't know, 3 kilometers, 10 to 15 minutes from your house, then you can buy the scooter. But if you want to go from, say, Mapsa to Parvarim every day, hmm. then it's not a big thing. Yeah. But again, a second thing comes into mind is the price of fuel. Correct. Then we 
आई थिंक ओनली द ओनली प्रॉब्लम इज इफ द स्कूटर हैड मोर रेंज and uh, at warp mode and at, warp mode. at uh, speed speed mode super no, sport see, mode see, the, at the sport mode and warp mode is we live in a little much more hilly area so we require uh-huh. that uh, warp mode to give us the push or the punch see even right now we are climbing almost sort of a hill yeah which is so, a regular road uh, which is a regular affair for us and for these roads in goa we need a bit pow- bit more power than i i think most metros yeah so for us right now Ah, a very tough choice. I like how the Aether feels in warp mode. It's very enjoyable, but I am still leaning towards a petrol scooter. To be honest. Yes. Manju sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, what do you feel about electric scooters? Any feedback? It's a future generation, I can say. Manju, Manju lives in Pune right now. Yeah, he's yeah. come here for. He's working from home. Manju, have you seen a lot of electric scooters in Pune? Yeah, a lot of. As you know, the prices of the petrol is increasing. All are moving to the electric bikes and all. Okay. Do you think uh, we should? Uh, I sh- in Goa should buy electric scooter? Yeah, of course. If you feel right now, the current generation, or should I wait for a couple of generations and then go on to the purchasing decision? No, you have to wait. I feel end of this 2022. Later on, you can take a decision on the taking of bike or not. I mean, electric bike or not. I feel. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Yes, I think that's pretty. That pretty much covers everything that we have to say. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, have a great night, morning, evening, wherever you're from. <laughs> whenever you're watching. <laughs> wherever you're watching. <laughs> wherever you're watching. Uh, bye bye. Good night.